going to be in such trouble when I get home. Dog hair. Oh, hair. I know. All right, Devo found two interesting stories to talk about this morning. One on how you can communicate with your cat. Mm -hmm. But first, the lifespan of honeybees is 50% shorter today than it was 50 years ago. And I know that doesn't sound good. No, that, you know, that doesn't sound good. And I never realized when I was growing up how important the honeybee yeah. is to just life on Earth and in general. So, yeah, uh, scientists did a study and yeah, they found out, yeah, 50% shorter lifespans than they were 50 years ago. Of course, this corresponds with the increased colony collapse we've been talking about, uh, the reduced honey production that we've seen in the last few decades as well. So it kind of makes sense. Uh, that these numbers are dropping. It's significant because, of course, without them, we can't grow the majority of our crops. We know that. In 1969, the average lifespan for a honeybee was 34 days. Now, it is 18. Scientists believe hmm. the modern honeybees may be suffering from a higher prevalence of disease, which they didn't have. Plus, 50 years ago, they didn't have some of the pesticides that we have now that we are also using. But here's where they're kind of confused because they kind of isolated this bee. They kept these bees and they kept it away from <clears throat> any types of pollutants or anything like that. And they realized that the short, it, it, its life was still short, half of what it normally was. So they're wondering, is it the pesticides or, or is it something genetically within the honeybee that is changing? And that would be significant because if genetically honeybees are changing, Therein lies a huge problem in itself, Russell. So they need to do a lot more research because, folks, 75% of the crops that we grow and 80% of all wild plants are pollinated by honeybees. Now, we've obviously been the problem up until now, but are their genes changing, which is causing another problem? So stay tuned for that. Yeah, what you got? Right. Anything? Shall we uh, talk about the other story? Okay, this is, this is communicating with your cat. I don't have a cat. I'm allergic to cats. I've never had a Well, we did have a cat once, but anyway. Their reputation, reputation, kind of standoffish. Not all of them, some of them. Many owners find it very hard to bond with their cat. You know why? It's very simple, Russell. You're not speaking their language. We need to smile more, but not a human smile. Here it is, a cat smile. You know what a cat smile is? Narrowing your eyes and blinking slowly. Say that again. Scientists confirm that narrowing your eyes and blinking slowly makes cats approach and be receptive to humans. Two like experiments. This? Real quick, I know I got a minute left. Like Two? this? Just like that. Like. Okay. Okay, so wait, the first experiment owners oh slow blinked. 21 cats from 14 different homes. They sat three feet away, and when they blinked, look, the it? cat was looking at them. Results showed that the cats were more likely to slow blink back at their humans after it had been done to them. Like, hey, you're speaking my language. Now, a second experiment included 24 cats, but the owners didn't do it this time. It was the researchers. And the researchers did the slow blink, and they held their hand out, and the cats did the blink back and came to them. Right. So they've realized that what cats are doing with their little slow blinking and they're narrowing it, they're smiling at you, Aww. okay? And that we need to smile back at them in the way they can understand. <laughs> what? This is, I'm telling you folks. <laughs> but scientists think cats develop this in a response to us. Okay. Like a cat tried it and we're like, oh, hi, how you doing? And they're like, oh, that's good, let's keep doing it. And it just kind of got bred into them over the years. And now that's their way of saying they love us. All right. The slow blink, Russell. Got it. Show it again to us. Well, we got to go to commercial. <laughs> we'll there right. you go. I just wanted to see you. We'll be right back. <laughs>